Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brie. Um, if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I'm going to do a quick video for you guys today. Basically just the fast makeup routine I've been doing for work. So when I go to the gym, I don't really wear makeup ever. I mean, I always do my eyebrows, but I don't usually put on face makeup or anything anymore. Especially through summer, I try and just do moisturizer and that's it. Unless I'm coming from my other job, then sometimes I'll have it on. But usually I always try to take a makeup wipe and have my um, face free of makeup. But this is what I do when I'm working at Fruitables usually. I want to like look like I'm kind of put together, you know, have a little bit of something on, but I don't want it to be super heavy. It's nothing glam, um, but I just want to quick show you guys how I achieve that in case you're getting out the door pretty quick or you're going to a job like me and you just need to look, you know, presentable and have a little something on. So if you want to see this look, then please keep watching. Let's just start. So I already used my moisturizer on my face, which is my Frey Protect Me Facial Moisturizer. And then I also used my Rejuvenique oil, um, put a little bit of that on, and I am good to go. This stuff is literally liquid gold, so that's that. Starting out, I am literally just going to go in with primer. So trusty old Tatcha Silk Canvas. Nothing really has changed around here. I've been using this. If you hear my dogs randomly barking, just it's fine. This happens every video. Um, so I've been using this for a while now. I am obsessed with it. I don't know, like, how I can use anything else. It is definitely an expensive option, but I swear it just works so good. So I am going to put a little bit of that all over. Just blend it in. And, yeah. yeah. Trying to get back into the routine of posting as much as I can on YouTube and uploading. If you don't know about Fruitables, you can watch like one of my recent videos and I showed kind of the progress leading up to it. It's the second business my family's open besides our CrossFit gym. It's like an acai bowl type restaurant with a bunch of different things. Obviously it's more than that, but that's the gist of it. So I put my primer on. I'm going to take my big Real Techniques face sponge. I always get it damp before I use it, so I'm just going to take the Smashbox, take the Smashbox So Chill Coconut uh, primer water. This stuff smells amazing, especially in summer. So just give that a few spritzes. And then for foundation, I have been freaking... I, I bought this. I did it in one of my hauls. Or I showed it in one of my hauls whenever I bought it. I can't remember when it was. I feel like I'm almost out because I've been using it so much. You can see it's like skinny. It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. So it's color correcting, full coverage cream, anti-aging, hydrating serum. It has SPF 50 in it. This is the color medium tan. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my sponge. And I kind of just like dab it around. So I take three pumps. Pumps. Three pumps. And I put it all over. And now I'm just going to kind of blend it in. With this ginormous sponge, it is so easy and fast to do. This stuff blends like a dream. And it's very lightweight. It's this. They came out with a new. I am like can't spit my words out. They came out with a new version of this, which is actually matte. This one is not. Also, my hair is just up in a bun because I'm going to be putting a headband or a hat on because I'm just going to my job at Fruitables. Where I'm a manager and I am around fruit and food all day, so I can't have my hair down at all. So yeah, that is just, you can see how glowy and just like dewy this is as I move my face. So if you're not into that kind of thing, and I mean, I'm going to set it with powder a little bit. You can always just try this product with the matte version. I am probably going to try that one next after I run out of this, which apparently looks like it's going to be pretty soon. But after my foundation, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I've just been using this instead of Shape Tape recently because I love Shape Tape, but it's definitely like a heavier concealer and I feel like I just don't need that much like with this routine. So this is the color C4. This is really cheap. It's like seven or eight bucks. I'm just going to do a little bit of this under eye, take it up my forehead, and then I'll connect that down my nose here. I'm not doing any like contouring or anything crazy. I'm just going to blend that in. And there you 
there you go. That just brightens your face up a little bit. So then I'm going to take my Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced. This guy right here. Try not to dump it out. Take a little under my eye. Just setting that area since that's where the concealer is. Like really fast I'm talking. And then all I'm going to do is take a big fluffy brush, whatever's left in here, and kind of just set the rest of my face quick. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. brow pencil. I've been using this one because it's honestly two freaking bucks and I think it works great. It's neutral brown. I do have a different one that I got by Koki Cosmetics, which I like too. It's a micro brow pencil, so it's a little bit smaller. But for right now, I'm just using this one. So I'm going to quick fill my brows in and then I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So pretty much what I've been doing is after I fill them in a little bit with the pencil, I take the brush again because I feel like it kind of just spreads the product out. And if you brush your brow hairs up a little bit into an angle, it just helps keep them looking natural versus like so filled in. Even though obviously they are filled in, but I mean, hey, maybe some people don't know that. I've really been switching back and forth between two bronzers. I don't know, I just grab whichever one's closest, but they've definitely been my favorites. It's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Bronzer in Sunkissed. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the color Rosewood. So these two right now, I'm just going to take Anastasia. I don't know why I'm just picking one. Then I'm going to take fluffy brush here. Just blend that into my cheeks a little bit, back towards my hairline. Give the face some color. So I go up around the hairline here, bring it down into the cheeks, and then make sure I get under the chin and neck. So everything looks the same. And that was a Sony Kashuk brush. I'm going to use my Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. Flip this open. It just looks like this. Take a little bit on my brush. Tap any excess off. Run that quickly. Across the apples of my cheeks. That is an e.l.f. brush. It's the angled blush brush. Works pretty good. And then I also have the e.l.f. small tapered brush. I want to get a different highlight brush because I just, I do. One of my new favorite highlights is the Dose of Colors collab that they did recently with a YouTuber. Um, this is called Soulmate. And it looks like this. It's so pretty. A, really a lot comes off on your brush. That's how you know it's like good, at least for me. Because sometimes I feel like I dip into a highlighter and I'm like... Where is it? Or maybe it's the brush. I don't know. So I'll just tap that a little bit to get any crazy excess off of there. I'm just going to go along the top of my cheek here and up around kind of my brow. I like it to be like a highlighted glowy look. I'll quickly go on top of my nose, a little bit underneath, and a little bit on Cupid's bow right there. That is it. I never want to look like powdery, so I take MAC Fix Plus. Which is just going to help everything kind of set in. Ooh, there's shit all over it. And stay um, a little more like satin-like on the skin. So sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. If I'm really rushing, I don't do any eyeshadow. I mean, you don't really have to. But what I can't stand is if, like, it starts to crease, like, say, like, my foundation or my concealer on my lid. Like, it's not set. You could literally do it with just a skin color powder. This is quick, so I just always grab my Aspen Ovard and Tarte palette. And I take the color Brilliance up here, which is pretty light, but it just gives you kind of that, like, again, glowy look. And I just take my finger, and I literally just cover my lid, like, that fast. bit just like in the inner corner here you may not be able to see it much but to me I think it just helps kind of brighten everything up so then what I'm gonna do is if you're only wearing mascara curling your lashes is like a life changer is that a word I made it one so since like I, there's not really a lot going on I'm gonna quick curl my lashes okay so I quick curl my lashes I am gonna do my mascara the two I've been using like with this routine are L'Oreal Voluminous Original. This is like straight OG. And then the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. That just means it has like little fibers in it that can kind of connect onto your lashes with the mascara and make it a little bit longer. 
So they look like this. I'm just going to start out by using the Essence one. Essence is really cheap too. Like, I don't know. This mascara maybe was a few dollars. Like, not anything crazy. One eye. And do the little bottom guys just a little bit. I'll go finish the other eye. Okay, mascara's done. That's it. I feel like this is just, like, natural. It doesn't look like too much. It's actually kind of funny because my dad doesn't know anything about makeup, but he knows I like it. And I came down the other morning. I think it was yesterday. And I had work at, like, 9. So I was leaving at 8.40 or whatever. And he's like, wow, your makeup looks, like, really good for this time of day. And I was like, usually he's the one that's like, why are you wearing all that? Whatever. So I was like, thanks, Dad. All I really do is put chapstick on, too. Um, I have another one I use, and then I also use this one. This is by Coco Kind Collective. If you've never seen their stuff, you should check it out. Just look them up on Instagram. I got the spot treatment by them. I think it's over here, actually. Yeah, this is a turmeric spot treatment. Um, and then they also have a highlighter that's, like, this same consistency. I like to use it if I'm just, like, running out or even if I'm going to the gym and I want, like, a little swipe. Just helps the skin look nice and healthy. Um, but this is the Maccabeat, if I'm saying that right, Maccabeat, Maccabeat, Tinted Moisture Stick. You can use on lips and cheeks for a naturally tinted glow. It is olive fruit oil, organic, beeswax, beetroot powder, organic, maca root powder, and that is it. So, a little bit of that. does have a little tint. Not much you can see, like, it's a good amount, it's nothing crazy. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please don't forget to subscribe, click that button down below. Subscribe to my channel, that way you can stay up to date with my videos. Comment if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Comment anything you want to see, I'm trying to hop back into my routine now. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and that is it for me. See you guys next time.